Okay. This will be on um, as well tank kits. Now I just got done watching a video from I think Urban Knife Guy. And he built a jungle one. A 48 hour jungle one. Of course I think where he lives there's jung there's jungles there. I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, I don't remember where he said he lives, but yeah. So yeah. Now the concept of outdoor chance of advocates is fascinating. I've seen a a jungle, urban, uh, water purification, a fire kit one. I've seen you know a oh crap this is all I have left with gear slash EDC if I if I have to abandon my car I'm good because I got enough gear to survive now for an urban one I would actually put in You know what these are. You see the annotation right there. You see what that is. Yes, you do. You know exactly what it is. And by the way, yeah, this is plastic. If I don't say it. <laughs> it's toy plastic. Toy poly plastic. But yeah. For, for a woodland one, I would put in... I would just put in this card, to be honest. If I'm ever in a woodland situation, I'm like, oh god, you know, I don't have any, uh, you know, Oh, gosh, yeah. I want to open this. But I'm not going to. I want to say if the knife is short. This is what I liked about this. This is what this stuff is. Ha <laughs> ha. But yeah. Now, I've seen Urban Knife Guy actually do a couple of these. I was working some other kids. I've seen many people do them. One of my favorite ones, I think, just because every, when he does something, it reminds him of a story. Um, medical store. He has one favorite one. He's like, okay, if I had to go to a Walmart, and, you know, what would I get for a kit? Right? Ah. Is this, is this my guy? I can't tell. Yeah. That was on the highway, by the way. Why am I near the highway? By the way. I may be, not even off it. Ah, I can't see that was a truck and a motorcycle. Anyway, now, if I carry this with me, with EDC, but if need be, I would easily put in an uh, outdoor chance of outfit. I like thinking up of them. Uh, so, yeah. I carry this with me. This is, I think it's the UST 11 hunt right here. Here's what sorts. Here's what sorts. Here or here? Or here? There's three possible places to what sorts. I'm obsessed with finding out where it starts, by the way. No, I don't want to unravel this because I'm I don't have the cord thing. <laughs> I don't have the quick cord thing. I should buy it though. So, because I know, because I'm usually like, okay, did it, and it just, I think this is the 1100 I from UST, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I also carry the Grim line card, uh, some non-minted dental floss. Yeah, one is, one is nine, two, two is one, one is nine, three is enough. 
and it's a good variety. Hey, honestly, if I'm in an urban environment and I pull this out, people are like, <laughs> but dental floss, like, oh, hey, maybe I have something to see. Right? So, like, you can literally have your imagination go wild. With these cards. Well, not with cards, but with these, uh, actual chance of all kits. Or kits, anyway. Say, heck, even you can put cards in them. You know? It's about the same size as one, right? Yeah. You can put your playing cards in them. Because, eh, why not? Oh, also another thing with the electrical tape and... I've only seen this happen, like, once, pretty much. You can use that electrical tape as a little bandage until you get to back to your camp or whatever. I've seen, uh, I don't know, I think it was Billy Bombproof. On the Billy Bombproof channel. It was the infamous, he was sawing, and he went to go pick up the thing, and the saw went, yep. You did it. Anyway, you. And that's why all roads are torn up. Anyway. <sighs> Freshly graded road, right? Three seconds later, tore up again. Because people are like, ha ha, hey! This will be fun again. I want, you know what I want? Here's a little amp. I want the county to go to grade the road again. I do. Because it gets torn up like every two seconds anyway after just freaking, you know. Because people are like, Labor Day weekend was a pain in the butt. As I say that. Anyway. Like, I think I. I don't know if I built one. Oh no, I actually transferred one kit, pre-made kit, to another. To the 10. Because the other one was like, bent. Like, I mean, outdoor 10s are really helpful anyway, because you can put like, nails in them or what have you. Oh, that's what I should get. I should go to Dollar Tree to get a nail, or a nail thing. If they are, if you have one. I think they have one at Dollar General, but oh, I gotta see how much money I have. Ah, I just know I should have enough money. Anyway, uh, you could you could literally put, you know, whatever you want in an Autoys 10. Like, either a survival kit, a work. I don't feel like having to lose all my nails, blah, 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 blah. Dent, pocket. Oh, you didn't know? Okay. Right. Um, yeah. What I'm saying is, let your imagination go wild when you get an Altoids 10 and go, I want to do a kit. Right. Yeah. Okay, let's see what I can make with this. How, what are the dimensions? First, do the dimensions and all this. Now, I like doing, oh crap, this is all the deal I have left. Kits. So I think to myself, okay, well, say I have this, right? Wait, I saw blue. Where's the blue come from? I don't know. Like, okay, well, I'm gonna need a cutting tool. Bam. I'm gonna need some sutures, definitely, bam. Or whatever. No, let's resist. You know, or work one like, okay, I something like this would be perfect. It's a buck fifty if it breaks, it lost it, pff, whatever, it's a buck fifty. Right? Etc. So let your imagination go wild without watching it. Anyway, peace.